guys and welcome to the video here today this is more of a public service announcement for those of you that have modded switches there's been a couple of really big updates that just came out one to hecate the other one to cosmos now this is not a tutorial it's assumed that those of you who have a modded switch know your way around a modded system i'm just going to cover very quickly what you need to do in order to update but i'm not even going to fire up my switch you guys pretty much should be familiar with how this works this is basically just making you aware that these things just came out and we're going to kind of gloss over some of the um, things that stand out a little bit more with these updates and then we'll talk about the sig patches situation again <laughs> because well those are kind of a mess but anyway uh, i'll talk to you what you need to do in order to get all of this stuff um, up and running or at least i recommend what you need to do because i've already done a video about it and it's still the same even with the latest firmware that's 10.0.2 so we'll cover that and the sig patches stuff near the end let's go ahead and get things started with this huge hecate update so now Hecate is on version 5.2.0, Nix is on 0.9.0, and immediately when I came here and scrolled down a bit, I smiled a little because here at the launch screen, I saw the L4T good icon, the Alaka icon, the Switch Root Android one, and the L4T Gen 2, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you can see here there's been a little bit of changes to the color of things. Now, maybe this happened in the previous version. Mine have always been like the green color, so they change it to red. I think you can change these now. Uh, it notes it down below that you can change it in the uh, settings. So back to um, those icons that were there and the reason apparently now why they pop up is because you have the ability to launch different things from different partitions that are on your one SD card. So on your SD card, you know, you can now have Android, you can have Linux, you can have LACA, you can have your um, regular switch stuff all in different partitions on your SD card and you can go ahead and boot up Android or Linux or LACA or you know whatever other normal payload you want or pretty much any custom firmware. So this allows you to do all of that without having to switch the SD cards back and forth and that is ultra convenient, a great feature that I'm glad that they added. And that's just scratching the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole host of stuff that they've done here. Again, too much to cover. So when you have a chance, just stop by here and read it all so you can get an idea on the specifics as to what they have done. But various improvements, additions, uh, bug fixes. There's been support that's been added for 10.0.2 firmware, which is current as of the making of this video. There's better efficiency, some boot up stuff has been improved here and there in terms of boot up times and whatnot. They've added uh, Joy-Con support, so you know that Hecate normally works navigating around using the touchscreen, but if for some reason your touchscreen doesn't work or it's kind of wonky or whatever, you can now use a Joy-Con because they've added Joy-Con support and here it lists the controls. So basically the Joy-Con works like a mouse to navigate around the screen. They've added um, universal media server support. So I covered that in my weekly Hacking Modding Monday news and info segment. That's a uh, server that's for Windows. It works on various devices. So now they've added support for that. In the zip file, you'll find a reg file that's designed for the PC in case you're going to use that. And if you do, make sure you read up uh, the notes that are listed here. So you should know already what you need to do in order to update Hackety by now, just grab the zip file. And again, the reg file that's in the zip file is designed for your PC if you plan on using UMS. If you don't, then you don't need to worry about it and you don't need to put that file in your switch. It's just for your PC. So let's head on over to Cosmos. 
And for those that use Cosmos, there's not a whole lot to cover because even though this update is big, it's big because it contains the latest Atmosphere and the latest Hecate that we just covered. And those two latest versions, they have had a lot of things done to them. And so that's included here because those things come built in with Cosmos. So the latest Hecate that has all of those features, that's here. The latest Atmosphere, which is 0.12.0, .0, is also included in this release. So you guys should already know who use Cosmos by now, how to update this. There's also, by the way, been a couple of homebrews that have been updated and they've been included here. Everything here works with 10.0.2 and you can update Cosmos easily by just grabbing this zip file, copying and pasting everything over to the root of your SD card, and that's pretty much it. Now this reg file here, that's for your PC if you're planning on using the universal media server, like I just mentioned before. If you're not gonna use that, you don't need to worry about it. Okay, so let's move on to the SIG patches. Okay, so not too long ago, I made this video here shortly after the 10.0.0 .0 update. And this video is designed for those of you who use just plain Jane Vanilla Atmosphere, or if you use Hecate to launch Atmosphere, or if you use Cosmos, which of course uses Hecate to launch Atmosphere. I show you how to update, but the main thing that I show you is where to get the new SIG patches and what you need to do with them because a couple of things have changed, especially for those of you who use Hecate or you use Cosmos. So you need to watch that video, follow the same steps. The only difference is just use the newer stuff. So instead of using Atmosphere 11.1, .1, if you're using, you know, plain Jane Vanilla Atmosphere, just use the 12.0 because it's the latest one. Instead of using, um, Cosmos 15.6, like I show you in this video, just use the latest one, which is 16.0. So follow the steps exactly the same. The links that are in that video that take you to the SIG patches, those SIG patches are still there. They've been updated and everything that's been updated is designed to work with any firmware from 9.0 and up. But for best results, I suggest you use all of this new latest stuff on any firmware that is 10.0 and up. And that is going to do it for today, guys. Just a little quick PSA to let you guys know what had just come out and been updated for your modded switches. Thanks as always for watching. You know, I appreciate you. And if you found anything here helpful, informative, useful in any way, make sure that you hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everybody out there. Be super careful, guys. Be safe, but have fun. And we'll see you on the next one.